Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. Today we're taking a look at the Coral and Creatures collection. Now this is made available by the folks at TRB Renders and this is more of an asset add-on and it actually offers you a huge set of Coral and Underwater Creatures collections that you can work with. Now for those who've been wondering about creating underwater scenes right now you'll be having access to over 70 plus different things that you can actually start making use of now from fish swamp system to rigged creatures that you can animate to animated waters animated school fishes you know quick animated bubbles and also a couple of collections you can get started with this now how this works is extremely simple and for those who like to get this link is going to be in the description where you can come through and check it out now with that said let's dive directly into blender and take a look at how this actually works once you download the add-on go over to edit go over to preference and install it and once you install it press n on the keyboard and right here you would notice that we have the coral and creatures collection now within this coral and creatures collection you notice we have a gigantic thumbnail and a set of categories that you can walk through so if you simply let's get rid of the cube go through and take a look at all of the corals that you have here you would notice that most of them are animated so for example if we simply select any of these amoeba and click on add and proceed to press the playback button you would see that we have that animated amoeba right there now if you would like to also make or simply add some more you can go in and add some more let's throw in this other one and let's press the playback button and see what we have and you can see that these things are animated so most of the things which you'll be getting here are already animated so you can just simply arrange this assemble them however you choose and start creating your amazing underwater masterpiece so something else that makes a lot of sense is within the category section if you click and go down you'll notice that we have a coral set now within the coral set there's a couple of assembly sets that exist and you can pick from any of them so if we simply select any of these ones for example let's say we select the coral assembly 2 and click on add let's take a look at what we have you can see that this bad boy is looking pretty now these things are also animated so if you want to just simply get these things into your scene and you know just hit the playback button this is also something that you can do by the way if you like to also preview these things in both eevee and cycles these things are supported for both eevee and cycles and you can get the most out of them now with this said most of you guys may want to have underwater creatures and this is something you don't really have the time to go ahead and start modeling and for that these add-on actually covers all of that for you so if you simply click on the categories and go over to the creature section you'll notice that we have a couple of fishes and also creatures that you can use so if you're looking for octopus or maybe you're looking for an atlantic blue tank fish or you're looking for a crab a dolphin a sailfish a red discus fish or maybe a puffer fish you can select them now if you also want to get you know something like an orca wheel you can click on that and click on add and the beautiful thing is these things are already rigged so you can start seeing some amazing things with them some of them have actually been animated so for example like the orca if we press the playback button you would see that this has been animated so you don't even need to start thinking about animating these things yourself you can just make a collection make an assembly of these things and start making some amazing animations out of them so with this here let's also take a look at some other things that are right here so within the miscellaneous section to me i think this makes a lot of sense if you go over to the miscellaneous section and you click you would see we have some stuff so despite the fact that you're having the corals and you're having the creatures and you're having the assemblies you're also having an underwater scene that you can work with so you can expand this however you want you can compile this however you want but at the end of the day it is totally up to you how you want to create your scene and every single thing that you need to make your scene come to life lives here now see how beautiful this is so within here you can see we have the underwater seabed and you can start adding some of your stuff in here and you can start getting something very nice so you can already see that the volumetric stuff which you need for your underwater scene has been created so you can play with the lights however you choose to get some more actions out of this so basically almost everything that you need for this is already here so if you need like a school system for the fishes or a swamp system for the fishes or maybe an ocean plane you can just simply click drop that there let's scale this up a little bit and i'm just gonna go ahead and move this down just about a point like that let's actually move this down i think the best thing is to get rid so let's go ahead and get rid of this other one click to get that out okay so we have just this and i'm also going to get rid of this and take the light all the way up all right so 
The cool thing with this one now is with this here, all you need to do is press the playback button and your animation is here. So you don't even need to start thinking about making a simulation for water. This is just here and uh, it actually gives you everything you need to make an underwater scene and even way more stuff. So you have like the water, you have the animated characters and also the rigged characters that you can work with. You have the corals, you have a couple more creatures and also a couple more underwater props that you can start playing with. And of course, if you like to check out the stylized ones, you can also get the stylized ones and you can also get the normal ones that are right here and you can choose to play with these things however you want. And that's about it. For those who like to get this, I'm going to put a link in the description that will bring you right here where you can come through and get the Coral and Creatures collection. And of course, a huge shout out to the folks at TRB Renders for making this possible. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video or the next update and like see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace